Hello and welcome, my name's Glorious Badger. Today we have another glorious unboxing. Just before I start, I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Glorious Badger three times a week. And uh, you can check out all my social medias at whatever it is forward slash Glorious Badger. So there we go. Now onto the main event, the most important part of this video, the unboxing, which is today we have the Cargo 8 Ridge Hauler with obviously shiny plastic on as always. Well, not as always. I have purchased the one of the towable things as well. Which we will also look at. Alright. So this is what it is. It's got it is a eight wheeled vehicle with multiple guns on it. There is a spiky thing on there, you get some barrels and a couple of crates as well. In fact, uh, four crates in total and three barrels. Well, let's get in and have a look at the plastic, shall we? It's for Necromunda, just in case it wasn't obvious. Oh. All right, the sprues. Okay, so first of all, this sprue here, you can purchase separately for the um, towable for the ridge hauler trailers so that they can have uh, guns on top as well. I've not done that. But this is available as a separate sprue. This is um, two couplers. No, that's not the right word. Whatever these things are, top, top turrets uh, with auto guns or stubbers. I can't quite remember what they're supposed to be. Um, probably, let's go with heavy stubbers. They got a couple of people on as well, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's it's definitely nice to have some extra guns, right? Um, on top, and these are the hatches, so you could uh, have them potentially closed or open if you want to magnetize them. I guess I'm not entirely sure, but that is. Uh, that thing we've got one i suspect these are both exactly the same i am correct yet again they're both sprues a, a sprues put that one to the side just look at the main one here so we've got um eight halves four wheels uh we've got the suspension system um and the axles and that's all there is really to this one so yeah, this is a pair of these. Nothing too complicated about them. All right, let's have a look at the next part. This is the container, the main sort of body of the vehicle. Uh, you may have seen these before. There are many of them. They come with the, bar um, the barrels and the containers, as you can see. Yep, and these uh, you can get these containers all over. Like you probably you might already have some knocking around, but this is just the container sprue, uh, which is nice. I like the idea. You could potentially have a loading zone with loads of these containers lying around, with a nice crane system. We got the next sprue. Hello. which is what appears to be the base of the um, the floor of the vehicle, which attaches to the axles and things. Um, exhaust stacks by the looks of it. More bits and pieces. This looks... Uh, what would this be? I don't know what this... There are various things on here I don't entirely know. Because I'm not looking at the instructions. 
There are some uh, spades there for digging oneself out of trouble. Or into trouble, for that matter. Uh, lots of checker plate. Uh, walkways and things. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty um, normal bits and pieces. And what do we have here? We have... More weapons. Grenade launcher, I believe. More accessories. We've got um, rope. Uh, blankets. Various boxes and tubes. Uh, more grenade launchers. Uh, we've got some people. We've got some legs. There's a torso. We've got more legs and a torso there. Uh, more torsos. More legs here. Have a look on the inside. Now, the, these run along the side, sort of clamping the container part of the thing. Um, holding the container parts in, I think. you got the inner floor well of the driver's zone. We've got some pointy, spiky things at the front. Right here for ramming. Uh, you got some headlights. More stubbers. Aerials, very important. And yeah, another floor plate, I think. No, nope. that's probably a side plate of some variety. Front of the driver's area. That is about it, really. There is, so there's two sprues for the vehicle. Got the wheel sprues. You got the the Top Gun uh, huh, sprue right here, and you got the container sprue as well. We do have the instructions, and hold on, let's get all this out of the way. Okay, before we get anywhere, we have a nice um, transfer sheet. You got a bunch. You got Necromunda, Armageddon, Birmingham, <laughs> uh, Golgotha, Katashin, Kat Katashin, Katashin. Um, a bunch of insignia, uh, some danger signs, obviously some radioactive signs, uh, various things like that. Markings of all sorts. So it's always good to have like new uh, decals, transfers, etc. And you do have a. Obviously, you've got the instructions. It's going to be rather bright. However, I wonder if I can just go knock it down one just for this bit. Um, axle assembly with the wheels. Easy. Note that steps nine onward are also used for the six-wheeled build. Okay, there's a six-wheeled build. Six-wheeled build as well, apparently. Okay. Ah. Cockpit. Driving area. It is enclosed, as you can see. They can paint that separately if you if you're one of those sorts of people. Oh, you got some rungs or some external ladders. And this is a sort of cradle that the container goes within. And what else do we have here? Anything of notable interest just from here? Here are the people. I don't quite know the color scheme we're going to run with. Okay, so this is... Ah, okay, when I was looking at this originally, I thought the container part was a sort of... part of the actual vehicle. Uh, rather than a, just a removable container. So, weirdly, weirdly, I was just thinking this was like a... Um, armoured personnel carrier type front bit for sort of uh, defenders and stuff rather than what appears to be just a container. <laughs> it's 
So there we go. Um, yeah, and there's obviously a towing bar here. For attaching more containers to. Or you can take... And it looks like you can take the container out and fill it up with barrels and things. I did not know there was a six-wheeled option. Now, we do have the Cargo 8 Ridge Hauler trailer. So you can tie multiple of these together. Uh, there is a bar you can attach, and you can have a whole stack of these, potentially, as many that might fit on your table, at least. This also comes with the barrels, the containers. That is because all of these are on this sprue right here. Get inside and have a butcher's and see what else is new in here. I know... There is more to it than just container, i.e. there's wheels at least. All right, so here we go. Sprue A again. Yep, exact same thing as per the other one. Two of the same sprues. Lovely jubbly. Yep, axles and all that jazz. Nothing new and fancy about it. Not a huge amount to go over on that one. Container, sprue. Nothing particularly new about this one either. And this sprue was also featured in the other one. This is the main floor plate to the trailer. You got the floor plate. Um, I believe the wheels attach, the axles attach to this. There's, we've got sort of exhaust stacks and things. Got the uh, spade or shovel. This is the connecting thing to connect to the next container potentially, or the next trailer. There is wires and things. Got some boxes. Got some uh, welding tanks or whatnot, oxyacetylene or whatever. There are the rungs for climbing up the side. We do have more transfers in here as well. The exact same ones as before. So that is always good to have more. We've got the instructions. Wheel assembly. Eight wheeled assembly. Note that nine onwards can be also be used for six wheels. So there is a six wheeled option as per the other one. Okay, so here are the wheeled options. The exhaust stacks flying out of the side. We've got some side plates here, mudguard type things. The floor plate that the container will sit in. Uh, some side bits to hold it in place. Container build, easy peasy. These are where the two guns can attach to. If you don't have the extra sprues, you, it looks like you can indeed have the storm bolters as optional extras. This is something you don't want to glue down. It's a mobile piece, it's sort of... You know, so you can snake it around if you have more than more that are of these attached. And uh, these accessory options. You can have these all stacked behind and you don't have to use the container. So that's it. It's um, You get a bunch of these potentially and have them either as a goal to pillage in a game or a movable thing to raid. Uh, I definitely like the idea of making some more interesting vehicles. Uh, for Necromunda, I believe rules have just come out uh, for that. I'd like to say thank you very much for hanging out with me today, folks. I do try and do two videos a week. One is an unboxing like the one today, or potentially an unboxing and a building. And the second video I like to try and do is a painting video. So that normally drops on a Wednesday. The unboxing will appear usually on a Saturday. Occasionally I will be able to do an extra one. Otherwise, you can check me out live over on Twitch, as I've said before. Sorry, Biz, about this. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Glorious Badger. And also, you can also support me if you wish via Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Glorious Badger. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this entire video, folks. Thank you for being amazing. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.